In today's video, I'm going to show you this really awesome and really easy blur transition effect inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So once you've launched up Adobe Premiere Pro and you've imported two video clips and chucked them onto the timeline, we need to add the blur effect. So inside of effects, we'll search for blur and then we can chuck the directional blur on top of the first video clip. Now from here, we need to scroll across to the end of this first shot and inside of directional blur, we can pull up the blur length to a high number and we'll change the direction to 90. Actually from here, I'm just going to increase the blur length. So I'm going to pull this up to just over 200. And then when you've got that number that you're happy with, you want to create a brand new keyframe on blur length. So press the stopwatch tool and then we'll scroll back three or four keyframes and we'll pull the blur length down to 0%. So now to complete this effect, we need to do the same thing for the start of the second shot. So we need to start blurry and go into a clear and blurry shot. So we'll throw direction of blur on top of the second video clip on the timeline, scroll to the very beginning and we'll pull the direction to 90% and we'll increase the blur length to around 200. Now create a brand new keyframe, scroll across a few keyframes and then pull your blur length down to 0%. Now, as you can see, if we play this back, the blur transition is now complete, but we're going to do this effect on a different type of blur. So rather than using directional blur, we'll use fast blur, and then we'll use the same technique. So we'll pull up the blurriness at the end of the first shot, create a brand new keyframe, scroll back a few keyframes, and then we'll set this to zero. But one really cool thing about the fast blur feature is we can repeat the edge pixels. So select repeat edge pixels, and this will basically remove that ugly vignette around your footage that the blur effect has caused. So you want to ensure that you've selected repeat edge pixels. Now, as soon as you've done that, we'll throw fast blur onto the second video clip on the timeline. So we'll pull the cursor back to the very beginning and increase the blurriness up to around 150. We'll create a brand new keyframe, scroll across a few keyframes, pull this down to 0% and make sure that you select repeat edge pixels. And there you go. That is the blur transition now complete. If you enjoyed watching this video, then please do let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe by pressing that circle icon up there. And also don't forget to check out the previous video by clicking this rectangle icon just down here.